How do? No Stephen today. I will get back out with him this weekend. So somebody's asked me, a subscriber emailed and asked me a question. Why, do, why would, why do prisoners go to the high security hospitals? We have three in this country. Those that are new to the channel, that's Rampton. For me, the most mysterious and it just sounds dangerous. Uh, Ashworth Hospital. Um, you know, when I was at Strange Ways, plenty of prisoners went to Ashworth Hospital. Dale Cregan included. And then we've got Broadmoor. Probably the most famous. A lot of people have heard of Broadmoor. You know, likes of the Yorkshire Ripper, Peter Sutcliffe went there. So I'll get on to why Dale Cregan went there shortly. Just a quick update. Uh, cracking interview for this weekend. A civilian who worked in prison will have very different views to me. Um, boy, did it affect him. Uh, next week, next weekend, as promised, I will have the probation officer interview. You know, probation officers like prison officers and other people, social services and that, get a bad rep. This last really cares. She's been in the job a long time. She's still working as a probation officer. Uh, and then to back up this vlog, I'm um, going to be speaking to it, speaking, spoken, speaking to a young man uh, who worked over 20 years at Rampton Hospital, High Secure Hospital. Uh, we will talk about, you know, how people like Dale Cregan are managed there, some of the infamous people he managed, and the impact it had on him. Uh, working in mental health is a tough gig quite frightening some of the people we've sent to hospitals mental health hospitals that's both low secure medium secure and the high security estate were dangerous individuals you know in prison quite often these people are managed behind the doors or you have a particular number of staff to manage these people unlock protocols three staff only out with three staff and the like obviously an alarm bell and the troops arrive uh, yeah, some very dangerous individuals and a lot of these who have gone to hospital Not not what you might think, you know, you're not dragging Dragging them and they're screaming and kicking They come across as as normal as me and you or <laughs> As normal as I am um, You know, we had a, a couple of lads James being one of them who went to medium secure that lad was assaultative as they come. He had done damage to people, him. That's damage to nursing staff uh, in previous establishments, previous mental health forensic units. Uh, he broke an officer's arm at Strange Ways, really bad. Life-changing injury. Super dangerous. We had him on healthcare for nine months, managed on an unlock protocol very very dangerous he would have gone to a medium secure unit not in seclusion he was taking his meds seemed all calm and happy i've no doubt at some point he would explode and really hurt somebody and like i say a lot of people same as prison officers in these hospitals you know they don't have no physicality might be empaths kind people uh, they are vulnerable to these types of prisoners so why did Dale Cregan go to Ashworth Hospital? Uh, Dale Cregan, if you don't know, a Category A prisoner. Uh, he got whole of life, which means he will be never getting out of prison. Uh, one of the lads, Damien Gorman, who was involved in the first murder that Cregan committed, he got 33 years. He also went to Ashworth Hospital for the same reason. So, like I said, we sent a lot of people to Ashworth Hospital. Everyone who goes there isn't a Category A prisoner, uh, as it were, normal prisoners. Cat B, Cat C prisoners might go there for a period of time. These high-secure hospitals, as we will learn when I interview that young man, you know, not everywhere is, everywhere will be secure, but there will be different regimes and there will be different wards or buildings, you know, really high secure, super dangerous individuals, maybe super dangerous sex offenders. These people, according to their risk to the public, themselves and others, 
will be located in different areas of the high security hospital. So, a couple of reasons you will go to high security hospital. Like I said, Broadmoor, a lot of our more infamous prisoners over the past sort of 50 years, Peter Sutcliffe, the Yorkshire Ripper, one of the Cray twins, Charlie Bronson, as he was known then. Charlie is a classic example, now known as Charles Salvador. Uh, hopefully he's going to be getting out of prison soon. Uh, he has spent enough time inside for me. Um, you know, people talk about mad, bad and sad, and then other people get upset. They get upset when you say people aren't wired right. If you are doing any period of time in prison, you do a lot of sol solitary confinement, a very restricted regime, you can lose the plot. Um, and you could end up somewhere like Broadmoor. Like I say, Charlie, fighting, he was problematic, uh, he was drugged in prisons, a lot of solitary, um, you know, send him off to Broadmoor. A bit like punishment for me, really, for some people. However, you know, um, like I say, if you're doing a lot of jail, you're going to have periods where you are down low, mad, bad and sad. Again. Uh, so Dale Cregan, you know, uh, same subscriber. Uh, was he mentally unwell in my opinion? Right. Let me just tell you why Dale Cregan and Damien Gorman both went to the high security hospital. Um, they were both on food refusal. Um, that is the more politically correct term nowadays for hunger strike. Uh, they were both on hunger strike as it were. Um, in prison, facilities are limited for individuals if they don't take the medication a lot of people uh particularly sadly when they believe they're doing all right and well people who are mentally unwell have mental illness stop taking the meds and then they become incredibly unwell in prison now you used to be able to you cannot medicate people against their will you can't force medication upon them you can't give them injections of medication they need to go to secure mental health facilities for that the other thing is you got two high security prisoners yeah um preserve life as a prison officer is the sort of um someone on food refusal at some point yeah um will not have capacity. It's all about having capacity. Capacity to make decisions. Uh, if you become unwell, incredibly unwell, and you're not feeding yourself, you would be sent to mental hospital, that's any category of prisoner, or a forensic unit, and you will be force fed. They would not allow someone to die like that. Just the same as you can give a medication in a high security hospital, uh, somebody who's refusing to eat, it will keep them alive. Ian Brady, I believe, at one point, another, you know, uh, disgusting character from our past. He was kept alive, I believe, um, at one point when he was refusing to eat food. So, there you go. The reason Dale Cregan and Damien Gorman both went to Ashford High Security Hospital, they were on food refusal. The procedures around that, there's a certain amount of paperwork. If someone informs you they are not eating, they're refusing food, you start paperwork. Yeah, after three days, uh, you would make observations, three days of not eating, and that doesn't necessarily mean not drinking, a lot of people will take fluids. Um, that, that paperwork comes into action and they are procedures. Both of them lads came onto the healthcare because they were on food refusal. They were both assessed by Ashworth Hospital uh, as not having capacity and then they went straight to Ashworth Hospital. Ashworth Hospital, like everywhere else, uh, is funded. Um, category A prisoners, you would get a, you know, a decent amount of money for housing them. There's a lot of uh, politics are, are involved around prisons, uh, high security hospitals and the like. Hopefully, like I say, interview this young lad, we'll learn more about it. Um, I'm going to leave it there guys uh, thanks to everyone who supported me on Patreon, bought me a brew everyone who's, you know, been on the channel, past, present and future 
Thanks for all your comments and support. I'm sorry I haven't been answering. I've been reading comments. You know, I can get through a whole host of comments in an hour. Replying to them all would take me hours. But I will get back to, to replying to your comments. Or as many as physically possible. So again, thanks for coming. Out with a boy this weekend. Interview with someone. Prison definitely affected him. A civilian point of view. Probation next week. And then, like I said, this young man, Rampton Hospital. I'll see there.